hello youtube welcome back to the channel i'm back with yet another video so today i have one package with me from triumph and i have another package downstairs so these are the new accessories that i have got from a tiger so let's do a quick unboxing and then get it get these accessories fit on the bike let's do a quick unboxing for this this is a top box light carriage that I have ordered so I'll make a separate video for all the pricing and everything but this is how it has it is this is how it has been packed okay so it's kind of heavy here we have the carriage with the triumph branding here and then we have four different screws two for the front two for the back and then we have couple of manuals just warnings and other stuff so there is something interesting about this this carriage let me just show you so if you will do this and if you'll see the back of it you see there's this moment so this is the intentional moment just in case whenever there's uh, the bike is in impact with something so this gives the free flow and uh, provides the cushioning to the top box so that's why this is there so if you find this a bit wobbly don't uh, don't uh, don't get disheartened that you got a faulty product or so it is made this way only so here is the bike guys and here is my another set of accessory that i have ordered these are the pannier mounts that i'm gonna install today on the bike so finally uh, this ugly sari guard's gonna be out of the bike for good so guys first of all to remove the sari guard we need to remove the seats so i have just now remove both the seats and unplug these two sockets as well these are the heated seat sockets so i have also removed these so the next step uh, to remove the sari guard will be to unscrew these four bolts here just to get this panel out so once we get this panel out we will be able to get access to these these bolts and we need to unscrew these two as well So in this I guess it will be much more easier to remove the lock and then get this removed because the panel is getting stuck bit behind this. So we'll get this also open and then we'll proceed further getting the panel out. So if you see this comes with a thread locker. So if you'll see this screw comes with a thread locker so we'll also apply thread locker once we are re 
reassembling the whole bike So now the lock is out if you'll see this the lock panel is out so now what we can do is we can easily remove the lock pa uh, the panel the charging panel so finally if you'll see the panel is out and here are the bolts that we need to take care of to open the sari guard so let's just get through it so guys now i have loosened the these screws you can see so i have used 12 mm spanner for loosening this up and like getting this off so let me just remove the sari guard and then get back to you So here we have the sari guard off. So now what I have done is like I have taken the right side left side of the mount and then mounted it up mounted it up with the screw screw or the nut that was available. So it comes with three different spots where you need to like screw it. One is here. Another one is here and the third one just goes under the goes under the foot peg so this is how we gonna proceed further so let me go ahead and tighten the screw now so the same needs to be done for the right side as well uh, i just remove these two bolts and now i'll be fixing the new mount for the bike so if you see this right side mount comes with this rubber so this goes here to protect the silencer so we'll just fix this as well here so if you'll see here the rubber is fixed so now this will protect the silencer or the mount getting rubbed against the silencer So now I have done the whole procedure. I have loosely put all the screws at their place, and now comes the third part, where we will be installing the connecting rod between both the mounts. So here, if you'll see, this is the connecting rod in between. So I'll be installing that. So that's pretty much simple. Two, two. nut and bolt will be going here to at the other side and then fixing them up that's it so if you'll see now the whole fixing is done i have loosely put all the screws at place now all i need to do is just tighten the whole screws and then we are done with the pannier mounts So once you are done you just need to tighten all the bolts and you you are good to go just refix the seats here and then done to install the carriage all you need to do is that uh, you need to unscrew all the indicated screws or the bolts on the following image and then then you just get this aligned 
onto onto the frame and then the bigger bolts will be going here and the smaller will go in here and just tighten them as per as per the requirement you can just tighten them and you are good to go so this is how the whole fitment of the pannier mount and the carriage is done i hope this video will be helpful for you guys please like share and subscribe to this video, to my channel till next time ride safe guys